There's a young person who was born with deformity and signals shifted during prolonged labor. So deformed was it that he de developed what is called geospatial talent, meaning there's a defect. Defect can be the eye, defect in the test. If a young person had a defect in the test buds, and you have seen that this child has unique tests, can't just eat anything. It is important that this child needs to be assessed. Should you find that your child has unique taste buds and becomes a wine tester, tea tester, coffee tester, that in exactly 15 minutes of tasting, if it confirms your coffee to be of good brew, your wine is of good brew, that's the only time you'll be willing to make your coffee, make your wine in bulk. Otherwise, you'll waste your money. If you find such a person, may I tell you, big companies are looking for such a person because in exactly 15 minutes, he'll make that decision and he'll earn his millions. My question to the Republic of Kenya in the CBC curriculum, where does that fit in the curriculum? Sometimes back, I found a young man that had a defect in the eye. So much was it that the media was awash with blindfolding him and what? asking him to read the newspapers right. and how he easily separated what? colors. It became a sensation, an internet bus was created. Every person wanted to have meat with this guy and test him. Do you believe such a person should fit in academic curriculum? And how much a waste how much erosion will come in such a child? And these are some of the strong reasons we are urging every single parent, every single body of government, that today the technology that enables you to know the gender of the unborn child at about three months is with us in the learning process. Thanks to the anthropobiometric methods, we are able to forecast careers some 20, 30 years in advance, accurately and scientifically. This changes how we now look at learning and general education. That learning and general education is no longer going to be based on the naked eye guesswork, in which we are going to assume that all kids can do compulsory subjects, that all kids can be able to know by guesswork of their teachers or their own or their peers, the right streams for them to go in terms of learning. What would be a waste if we misdiagnosed, if we misguided the kids in the wrong streams? They will be there in their millions wondering what to do. The same, same adage that the parents forced the kids to do the courses they wanted, say medicine, say law, kids struggled through them, got those degrees, threw back, back on the parents, and they said, that's it, I'm tired of it, I'm not going to do it again. We don't want that to occur.